Buenos tardes. Today is Mexican day for a little seafood snack. We're going to be doing a flaming tequila lime seafood martini. So let's get rolling. Uh, kitchen safety means that we don't want to pour directly from the bottle because the fumes could ignite in the bottle. So we'll pour that into a glass. And it's also much more socially acceptable to drink tequila out of a glass than a bottle. We always taste here on Taste Texas, so that's good to go. I'm heating up the pan on the far side. That way when it ignites, the flame's going to start away from my hand. I've got the pan heated up away from me. I'm gonna take it off the flame. All right, that is some tequila fire right there. Okay, no more flame, now the alcohol is cooked out. I'm gonna add my lime juice. So it's the juice of one lime. And because I need a little more liquid for this seafood to cook in, I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna add my Gulf of Mexico shrimp that have been peeled into vein. And I'm gonna add a little something different, uh, not local, this is actually from Scandinavia. It is monkfish, which is also referred to as poor man's lobster because of its texture and kind of a buttery sort of taste. We'll put that in. Swirl that around in our tequila lime. Add a little salt, a little pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna take that up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, the shrimp and the monkfish will be cooked through. Then we're just gonna cool them down real fast in our freezer and we'll be able to make our seafood martini. Okay, we've got our shrimp and our monkfish that we chilled down in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. I'm going to add some avocado. I'm gonna add some tomato with my salt and pepper on that tomato. Some chives. Find these are a little easier to chop up quickly than say a red onion. Some chopped up cilantro, Texas cilantro. And to make it a little bit more like ceviche, we're gonna hit it with quite a bit of lime juice. So the juice of one whole lime. This was in addition to the lime that we had cooked the seafood in. Toss that. Okay, that's looking good. Let's plate it up or glass it up as the case may be. Maybe. Okay, so now we're gonna garnish it. Got some Texas goat cheese. We'll just put a medallion of that right in the center for a little bit of tang. You could use cotija instead. And then we made some fresh fried tortilla strips, but you could use chips in place. And now we have our flaming tequila lime seafood martinis. I can't wait to dig in. Y'all enjoy.